we're going to one of um, Rasta's little hangout spots to go taste some African beer, otherwise known as Omboti. Um, yeah, man, I'm, I'm quite keen to taste Saturday morning Omboti. Okay, we're about to go inside, yeah. Um, this is one of the local hangouts, Rasta's local hangout places. Um, they sell African beer inside, yeah, which is called Omboti, which is just two ingredients it's maize and water, and through that, we're gonna taste inside how good it is. Let's go. Okay, she's gonna show us outside where she actually makes uh, um, the full process of her mixing together the water and the maize to form the sorghum beer. Come, let's go. Okay, when's that now? Step one, take yeah. in. Step two, step Okay, Ufagan. Okay, Ufagan go to King Koi. King Koi. Okay. And then Mubile, and then the boots, the boots of Banchengo. Okay. So this first process here, yeah, um, she's she's just soaking the maize inside here, yeah. and this is a step two over here where she adds she adds in what she calls uh, king coin, and what this does is it, it then starts um, the fermenting process of creating that, that that yeast and that beer taste that we get when we drink African beer, and then apama. Okay, and this is the final product. What she's done here now is she's. Uh, from one, two, and three, she separated um, all the yeasts, um, the yeast, and this what remains at the bottom. This lovely. What it smells like? It literally smells like fresh, activated yeast. Now, no, this one is not right. Yeah. See, in, in this process here, like you, you, you can't smell that that yeastiness because all she's done here is just basically just, just soaking the maize and they turn a darker color because I think because of the sun because she leaves it open also the maize is white when it goes in this is a separated um, the final product so this little bucket here that she's just poured out for us is 14 rand this is a final product of our sorghum beer um, Omboti can't wait to taste it this this drink that he has is a drink for the elder mayor so even now when I was walking and I tried to hold it myself and he didn't allow me to do that because um, if you're allowed to drink um, African beer it's it's usually a, a man and you sit around the elders and all the other men and it's a very respectful process like you see all the gentlemen around here they're all on the lower level you'll never see anyone drinking standing up will either be on your knees on one knee like this or you're sitting down because it's a sign of respect. By looking at it, you'd expect it to be a whole lot more heavy on your mouth. But it's actually very, very light. It's, it's just very yeasty. Yo, okay, well, um, there's a first time for everything. We just had some awesome beer um, amongst all the men. Um, good experience.